Welcome back. Today is February the 15th, 2023. Coming to you from the Wildemar Cemetery on Historic Route 395. The cemetery, which was established in 1898, actually used to be over here where those houses are now. And they moved the bodies to this side of the street. And one of the people that we are going to see today is Joseph Nichols as we enter the cemetery gates. It's not that big of a cemetery as you can see. And I think they say they have about 25 burials a year here only. It's kind of a small little plot. And then behind the keeper's house back there, there are more plots, but we are going to go see Joseph Nichols. And you might ask, why is there a cage around this? And here rest Joseph W. Nichols, died July 16th, 1889, aged 31 years old. And it says, at rest. On the top it says, brother. And this old timey cage that's here. I'm gonna get into it in a second, but First, just take a look around at some of these other uh, tombstones. Here's Ethel Lynn. This says Serventi Ringwald Anzois, 1895 to 1935, mother. Interesting. Well, today is another cold day in Southern California. It's in the 50s, once again, as it's been for quite some time. And uh, so I'm here in front of Joseph Nichols, who was the train master on the train that went from the desert all the way out towards uh, San Diego. And I better check my camera because it looks like it's gonna fall. Okay, so sorry for the wind. So as I was saying, whoa, am I in frame there? Let's try one more time. I think that'll be all right. So as I was saying, Joseph Nichols was the train master out here towards the Marietta Grain Elevator, which would have been Temecula back in the day. Um, Joseph was only 31 years young and he was having an affair with a younger girl. And it was found out by some of the local people and also his bosses that he was going to be fired so what he did was he came into work one day went to his desk pulled out a shotgun and killed himself which is tragic it's horrible it should have never happen um, but he died there alone and you know uh, from his shame alone he ended up committing suicide so the thing about Joseph is he was buried across the street. And so you're asking, I asked why this fence is here. And that's interesting. Now this fence around Joseph, because he was one of the last people to be moved here, was because he did commit suicide. And because of that, he was not to be buried within a cemetery. Because they found that if you commit suicide, well, You've committed a eternal sin and should not be allowed to be in a common cemetery with the other folks who passed away of natural causes or other not self-inflicted tragedies. So he was one of the last people that got moved actually over here. But the rule that they had when they brought Joseph over is that he had to be in a fence of his own, separated from everyone else that was buried in the cemetery. So here he is. And as you drive down the street, this is the first thing that you see. As you can see, the gates right here on the main road. Um, I always thought this was interesting, so I had to stop by one time and check it out and just kind of find the backstory to it. And I'm glad I did. So just a quick video today, but kind of neat, kind of interesting. Rest in peace, Joseph Nichols. 
like I said, died 716, 1889, well over 100 years ago. And at the young age of 31. Well, let's see, look at this. That is a big tree, I just noticed that. It must have been here since day one. Look how thick that thing is. A lot of these trees out here. Once again, thanks for watching. Uh, if you're new, please subscribe. For those who have subscribed, thank you very much. I do appreciate it. And I'll see you next time.